Lady and gentlemen, thank you for watching and welcome to the English news of Bình Phước Radio Television Station and newspaper and following the headline for today. Bình Phước performing well in digital transformation. Buddha Farmer happy with green skin Pamela Price. Vietnam's economy continues to maintain its recovery in 2022. And now, a detail. Bình Phước Province has recently worked hard on involving the efficiency of online public service and been successful in promoting digital transformation to develop digital government. The proportion of online public services at the provincial level increased from 91% to 95.57% from May 1st to June 22nd, 2022. The provincial public service portal has received 40,689 new records, bringing the number of records to be resolved to 93,068. During the period, 43,645 doses were handled online, of which 1,265 were overdue. The remaining 49,392 applications are being processed, of which 21 are overdue. The government reporting system has received 13 reports from departments, branches, districts and towns on the handling of administrative procedures. These results have seen progress in the building of e-government and built consensus on the implementation of digital transformation. These results have seen progress in the building of e-government and built consensus on the implementation of digital transformation around the province. The implementation of online public services at the provincial and district levels has achieved sound results, with the number increasing and now representing 80% of the target. Green skin Pamelo Grover in the border district of Budok are enjoying not only good yield but also high sales price this year, bringing them considerable sums of money. In just a few days, the pomelo on dozens of hectares owned by the Bordeaux Green Skin Grapefruit Cooperative and a number of households in Bordeaux District were purchased by traders from Ho Chi Minh City and Mekong Delta provinces at a price of $26,000 per kilo. According to farmers, this time last year, with COVID-19 raging, transportation was difficult, so their pomelos were mainly sold locally, leading to slow sales and low prices of just $13,000 to $15,000 per kilo. This year's sales price is therefore $10,000 higher per kilo from a larger market. According to growers, the investment cost per kilo is about 14000 to 15000 dong. Thus, at current sales prices, green skin pomelo growers in Bordeaux earned a profit of over 10000 dong per kilo. There are many types of mini bonsai yield as decoration for working and living spaces. One in particular is the succulent plant, which is loved by many. Impressed by the beauty of the succulent plant, Hoàng Thị Thương Thường in Dark Oak Commune, Bù Samap District, Bình Phước Province, was determined to grow them on her own. She now has the garden of the plant in different varieties. Growing succulents does not require much care, she said, but the soil must be suitable. With a lot of time and effort needed to grow and care for the plants, Thương considers it an elegant pleasure. Looking at her beautiful small paws inspire her to begin another busy day. Growing succulents, she said, has growers become patient and puts them at peace. Vietnam's economy continued to maintain its recovery in 2022 despite global uncertainty. Industrial production was estimated to have increased 4% in May compared to April and 10.4% compared to May last year, according to the General Statistics Office. In 2020 to 2021, despite being heavily affected by the COVID-19 epidemic, Vietnam's GDP still maintained a positive growth. 
many thanks to the growth of import, export and investment, especially foreign direct investment. In fact, a number of industries recovered strongly after the epidemic, such as retail, personal goods, pharmaceuticals, due to a good recovery in domestic demand. Construction industry pins hope in public investment, FDI and real estate to bounce back. Some industries show good recovery reaching close to the pre-pandemic period, including transportation, warehousing, and forestry, while the logistic sector is expected to be a price spot in the coming years. The Asian Development Bank has forecasted that Vietnam's economic growth will recover to 6.5% in 2022 and reach 6.7% in 2023. The International Monetary Fund meanwhile believes that the figures will be 6% in 2022 and 7.2% in 2023. The coastline more than 100 km abundant sunshine and wild year around the south central province of Ninh Thuong had rich condition to develop salt industry. Ninh Thuong will restructure its salt production by applying advanced techniques and renovating salt fuel to become the country leading producer by 2030. In the past, salt farmers in Ninh Thuận pumped sea water into fields to crystallize salt on the ground. With this method, a salt crop takes about a month to prepare. Realizing that limitation, local government and salt farmers have stepped up investment in the application of scientific and technical advances to production. They have also promoted replication of clean salt production linkages, established cooperatives to assist farmers in supplying materials and consuming products. My family harvested from 90 to 100 tons of salt a month. If we sell for local cooperatives, we can earn some 2,400 US dollars after deducting expenses. This is three times higher than if we sell to traders. Currently, Phương Hải Commune has over 90 hectares of land for stones production. Local cooperatives are purchasing stones from more than 40 households, with monthly output of 2,000 to 3,000 tons. The cooperatives have helped to increase income for local farmers. In order to improve the value of sound, many farmers have transferred production models, invested in technology, built wells using groundwater, and expanded the area under sound production. Ninh Thuận currently has over 3,000 hectares of land for salt production, with an annual output of nearly 443,000 tons. The potential for salt production and the salt processing industry is still very large. To meet the demand of the industry, businesses in the province have been investing in salt processing and raw materials for processing high-grade refined salt. The province will help farmers stabilize production, product consumption and increase income. According to the government's salt industry development project, by 2030, Ninh Thuận will be a leading locality with a total area of 3,267 hectares under salt production. Ninh Thuận province will also reorganize production and create conditions for organizations and individuals to assess credit sources to invest in salt production. Vietnam fruit and vegetable export turnover hit 1.4 billion USD in the first five months of this year, down 17% compared to the same period last year, according to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. The Ministry attributed the decline in five-month export value to a sharp decrease in shipments of the products to China. Exports of all vegetables and fruit to China have shown signs of decline, except for bananas, which recorded remarkable growth, is said. In the period, China imported 742,000 tons of bananas, a year-on-year -year increase of 10%, of which the volume of Vietnamese and Philippines bananas accounted for 43 and 48% market share, respectively. 
The ministry said, in the coming time, it is then difficult for fruit and vegetable in particular and agricultural products in general to enter the Chinese market. Therefore, exporters should actively seek new markets and increase the export of fruits that have been granted permissions to Japan, the United States and European Union markets. That's all for today on Bloomberg Radio Television Station and Newspaper News. Once again, thanks for watching and goodbye for now.